Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. Back out on the ice in Alberta. How do you find these lakes? I'll post the links to Alberta Conservation Association. They stock some of the lakes. And then I'll post the link to uh, the Alberta Fishing um, Regulations. And they also have a section where you can download uh, the stocking list. And then you can go look for your area and see where they actually put what kind of trout. They'll stock brown trout, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, brook trout, and you can decide what you want to fish on and in your area where you want to fish. That's a good way to decide. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Look at that, fish on. Let's hope he stays on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, stay on, fish. He's still there, he's still there. Fish on. It's a shallow hole here. That's a pretty big fish. And like I was saying, you want to Oh my, oh he's taking a run. <laughs> like I say, you want to go on to those sites and then you can locate these lakes and you'll be on the fish early season from freeze up in November all the way to about mid-January. The bite's really good because the oxygenation is great in these lakes. And uh, then er, uh, later in March, and the lakes stay open. They, uh, like other lakes are closed, but these ones, they stay open because they're stocked fisheries and you can fish them right until the ice is off the lake so it's a great option in the late ice season when you want to get on the ice and you're not ready to put away the, the ice the uh the ice auger then get out there and get some of these beautiful rainbows this is a pretty nice one he's fat oh yeah that's a beauty look at that look at that tank rainbow that's what i'm oh we just got a bite on the other jaw jacker the fish is still there let's go get it Oh, I think he got off. See, oh, it's still there, still there, still there. I'm telling you, crazy action tonight, guys. Oh, crazy action. Whoa, this one's peeling drag. This is a good fish. <laughs> we got insane action tonight on these stock ponds, I'm telling you. Great fishing. And uh, <laughs> the, the fish are put in here for you to keep, so don't feel bad. The limit is usually five on these uh, put and take fisheries. Oh, they got a good one here. The limit is usually five on these put and take fisheries and you can get on them, catch your fish, like I was saying, early in the year. But don't forget that late season because it picks up again in March, April. As long as the ice is on, you can get out there and catch fish. Oh yeah, that one's fighting good. Yeah, so I'll post all the links in the description to those websites I was saying so that you can do your own research. Research is key. Having friends that know locations is great too. But what do you do once you're out on the lake? So I started out on the lake close where most people come on the ice and I wasn't seeing any fish. So I walked over to the other side of the lake where most people don't fish. And sometimes that helps because the fish concentration where most people fish is often fished out. So go to the other side. Sure, it's a longer walk, but trust me, there will be more fish over there because they don't have the pressure like they do on the other side of the lake. That's one of my tips. Walking, putting in the effort always pays off in fishing. Don't forget that. Oh man, we got a good fish on here. <laughs> this has been a great night. I'm so glad I came out. This is awesome. Hopefully I get this one in. And like I said, on my setup right now, I have a Fenwick rod. It's a medium light. That's what I like to use for trout. It's about a 28 inch rod. Just a little micro spin reel uh, by Fluger. And I uh, have about uh, probably six to eight pound main line. And on the um, tippet or the Leader, I have six pound fluorocarbon, and hopefully that's enough to get this guy in. Usually fluorocarbon is more abra abrasion resistant. Uh, they can't see it in the water as good, and also it holds up better. It's, it, it's To me, it's stronger than monofilament. So for the same pound test, I think you're getting a better line than monofilament. Wow, let's see if we can get this guy in here. He's really putting the gears to us. Might be a big fish. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh man, let's see if we can land this guy. I'll tighten the drag up just a little bit. He might only be as big as that last one, but I think I have my drag set a little bit looser. We'll see. Oh man, I can't get his... Here, here, here. Oh! <laughs> you gotta love ice fishing when it's like this. Some people say, why do you go ice fishing? This is why. <laughs> Pulling a big fish out of a little hole in the lake, it's exhilarating. I can't, I just can't explain it. To me, this is some of the best fun you can have. Oh, let's see, I 
saw him there. I just saw him. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, yeah. Remember in these? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. It's a big kite male brook trout. Yes, look at that on that Acme Taco green one. What a beautiful fish. Look at that kite. <laughs> look at those colors. That is so nice. Oh, don't you just love that beautiful fish. Okay, let's get him back in the water after a quick picture. <laughs> look at that gorgeous fish. Isn't that beautiful fish? Oh, he's getting ready to go. There he goes. When they do that, they're ready to go. There he goes. Oh yeah, moving paid off right there. Look at that fat rainbow on the jaw jacker. Beautiful fish, great shiny fish. Oh yeah, what a beauty. So that was just on a little tungsten jig like that. With it's white, green, orange, a little brown on it. And I break off half a mealyworm and I slide it over the hook so it sits straight. And then you want it to sit as horizontal as possible Sometimes slightly da angled down because I feel if it's tilted up too much they don't get hooked as well. But if it's slightly down when they come in, that hook is angled just right to hook them. Now let's get it back in the water. And I think this is a jaw jacker day. I was out deeper and uh, jigging with the spoon. I didn't see anything in about 20, 25 holes. So I'm just going to pop in both jaw jackers in shallower water like this one was and just wait. I think it's one of those days. It's been really cold. And all of a sudden we have warm weather. It's like 30 degrees Fahrenheit or just around freezing. And it's a beautiful day. Sunshine's just gonna creep over that hill right now. Stick around, let's see if we can catch some more. We got another one. I just set that one up and he's there. Hopefully I don't lose him. Okay, he's there. Another beauty. I just set that jaw jacker up. I just put it in that hole about a minute ago, less than a minute ago. I just put it in. I just walked over there and bam, another beautiful rainbow trout. Look at that one on the jaw jacker. And that's on that green tungsten by Acme Tackle. Uh, they make really great tungstens. I love the hooks on them. Oh yeah, beautiful rainbow. Let's get it back down. So how am I setting this jaw jacker up? I'm just using tungsten jig. I have six pound fluorocarbon leader to a little swivel. And then my tungsten jig that's about, oh, this is probably one 32nd ounce. Uh, it's probably bigger than that. Maybe one 16th ounce. And I put half a mealworm on it. Put it down to the bottom. Put your rod in the jaw jacker. When it's on the bottom, you can feel based on when you got slack, grab the line about the same level as the jaw jacker uh, trigger is at. And then I pull about 18 to 24 inches, just like that. And that's where I set my line. Tip the bale over, pull the line tight so it doesn't get all twisted. And then just crank it up like that to the eyelet. And that's where you want it because you bend down the eyelet back to the level where you took the line put it in your jaw jacker and the trick is don't have the jaw jacker so loose that it just goes down with the trout you want just a little bit of tension so I just turn that wing nut just a couple times so that it doesn't just fall easily so they have to actually tug on it a little bit give that hook a few jigs so if there's any in the area they'll come rushing in and grab it and then leave it set up walk away and it's all gonna, it's ready to catch fish for you, okay? Let's see if we can get another one here. I'll put a bell on for good, me good measure if you aren't paying attention or if there's some noise, uh, just to get your attention, get you running over if you got a fish on the line. I just set the camera in there, the GoPro. So hopefully you got that one on there. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. Just 
fighting. <laughs> Own little drag. I tell you, some days these jaw jackers just that's all they want. They don't want any movement. They're just swimming around picking up those little aquatic insects, which this matches so well. This is a decent fish. He's uh, I haven't really seen him yet. He's just a long, skinny, he's a power, more powerful one. The bigger, fatter ones they don't fight as hard. <laughs> Look at that, that's three on the jaw jacker in probably the last 20 minutes. Let's get set up, that's gonna be cool because that one is on the underwater camera. It hit and it got off. So you gotta go reset it. Sometimes it happens, but hey, that's already four strikes on the jaw jacker, that's pretty good. Let's get it set up. Now, when it goes off, make sure you pull it back up and check your line out. Right off and the jig is a little bit skewed like that, you wanna fix the bait and straighten it out again. Get it back down there to give yourself the best chance of hooking up next time. Oh, I didn't hear that one go off. Feels like a good one, he's pulling drag. Some of them are strong. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. On that tungsten jig. I tell ya, that green Acme Tackle tungsten jig is nailing them. And with that jaw jacker, get them in the roof of the mouth just like that. Beautiful fat rainbow trout in these stocked Alberta ponds, shallow, full of food, they grow really fast, and you can have lots of action in early ice season. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He waited for me. Now he's feeling drag. Oh, no, he's still there. <laughs> Another line peeler. Let's get this bell off there. Another fish on the jaw jacker. I tell you, these jaw jackers are worth every penny on those slow days when they just want a dead stick. These things are killer. Another decent fish. I'm in mean, pretty shallow water in this hole only four feet deep. The other hole about six feet deep. We're right along the edge of some reeds. And that's what you're looking for early season because they cruise the shallows looking for bugs, aquatic insects uh, in the evening. It's another nice fish. <laughs> but we already have a limit so this one will be going back. Just like the last one and uh, it's a lot of fun these rainbows I actually didn't know there was decent fish in here like this I, I've come to this pond many times and I usually catch one a night so don't go thinking they're gonna come out here and nail them I found the right spot where they're cruising right now especially these big ones like this is another pretty big fish <laughs> Come on, it's so hard to get their head. It's an eight inch hole, and still hard to see them in here. Oh, she's a fatty. Come on, come on up the hole, here you go. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy, that's a fat one. Oh boy. Oh. Look at that pig. Look at that pig of a rainbow. <laughs> That is a beautiful rainbow in the beak on the jaw jacker. Okay, let's get this one released. What a gorgeous fish. Okay, let's get this big, gorgeous fish. Whoa! <laughs> Usually like to hang on to him, but she was ready to go. So you know what I'm gonna do now? The last hole that caught a bunch of fish, it's kind of cooled off. So I drilled holes further down along this reed edge. I'm gonna move that jaw jacker down to the next hole, because this one's still catching. And we'll just move down those holes I've drilled over there. We got one. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Get my line. Oh. Maybe not so big. Just little and crazy. <laughs> little and 
crazy. Little and crazy. Spastic, I tell ya. Okay, let's get this guy back and get it back down. You see what happened there? I had that rod down further and I hadn't got a bite in a while. I just moved it down this way on the other side of the one that was getting bit and bang, right away, fish on. So that sometimes works. You know, guys will drill two holes and stay in the same two holes all day. But if you're catching fish and it slows down, just move down the shore way a little bit. And you know, there might be more fish down a ways. Don't just sit in one spot all day and catch nothing. Get on the move and catch the fish. As always, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a few more tips that you can put in your pocket and take out fishing with you to put more fish on the ice. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell because that will give you the notifications when I post a video so you can keep watching and following me. Anyways, check out the links in the description below. Be safe out there guys on the ice and I hope you catch a monster.